Yeah, so uh, who here watches Shark Tank? Thank you. You know, in the first season, we thought it would never last. Seriously, at the end of the first season, we all had a big party. We all gave each other a hug. Barbara was completely inappropriate with her hugs. But <laughs> we thought we would never see each other again, and they picked it up again. In the first few seasons, we had to beg people to come on the show. Well, please come on the show. It's a really good show. And now, last season, we had 220,000 people apply on the show. We see about, we bring about 200 to LA, and we probably see about 180. The show is absolutely real. We know nothing about them. There's a questionnaire you fill out that says, have you ever met one of the sharks? And if you've met them and pitched them, you can't get on the show. Okay. And because I tell them, they come up, you guys, a lot of people come up and give us stuff for you, and I'm like, hey, if you want to be on Shark Tank. Yeah, it's, <laughs> we, because we want to keep the level playing field with the other sharks. And so we've never met them, we don't know their name. When that door opens, it's on. The average pitch is over an hour. No matter how long or short, it gets cut into seven minutes. And so, you know, we're, we're just talking. There's no script. There's no, sometimes people get nervous and they're like, oh, can I do it again? They're gone. Like, it's, it's very real that way. But here's a funny thing that might surprise you. We know between the door opening and people coming out to stand on that mark and the first few words they say, we probably made up our mind 50% of the time. So we film 12 hours a day. We're cold because we have like air conditioning blasting. We're hungry, we're miserable. They want us to fight with each other. Shark fight. <laughs> we're thinking about who's paying for dinner, or will Kevin actually ever pay for a dinner? <laughs> and then, bam! You come out. We're, we're not sitting around going, oh my gosh, you're in here. I'm so excited to see you. So it's, how do you, it's all the subtle, subconscious communication. There's a great saying in life, which is, people rarely remember what you say, but they remember how you make them feel. None of you here are gonna go home and tell their significant other, yeah, it was a guy from Shark Tank, he was pretty good. Let me tell you the 20 things he said. But you're gonna remember how you felt. It's the same thing with every human being you meet in life. People are too focused on the verbal communication. So they come out and they're like, all right, I really want you to invest in me. You know, you've already lost us. Or they're not appropriately dressed. And by, by that, I don't mean that they're dressed nice or an expensive suit. You know, they're pitching a sporting outfit and they're wearing a suit. Or they're, they're pitching something that's going to be sold to big corporations wearing a golf shirt. Like, it, it's right away, there's a disconnect. I don't care what you look like, I care, do you support the product and the pitch that you're trying to make? That's a big one. How you stand is a big one. I gotta tell you, if you're hunched over, you know what that's telling me is? You don't believe in yourself. If you're standing up and you're open, you believe in you. It's the tone of your voice. If I'm what? 